from the Sheraton Norfolk Waterside Hotel. It's a 2023 International Open. Thank you. Thank you all very, very much. This is a Pat Fleming production, and it's sanctioned by the WPA, and it's being brought to you by AccuStats. We're honored once again to have our three official signature sponsors with us, as we do every time we're here. Diamond Billiard Products, Simonis Cloth, and Aramith. Thank you very, very much for all you do to help us put these events on, and you do have the best equipment in the business. Also, speaking of the best equipment in the business, we want to say thanks to Chris from Outsville for providing us with our racking templates, the AccuRack in use for both 10-ball and 9-ball. Thank you very much, Outsville. And thanks to all of you out there watching who have been with us either today or all week and over the years, as well as our great Norfolk family that comes here and sits ringside with us. We couldn't do it without you, and you are the most important part of the International Open, everybody. Thank you very much. All right, we're almost there in the 10 ball. We've got a finalist, Shane Van Boning. We're going to get an opponent for him in the next hour or two. This is semifinal number two. The final is at 9 o'clock this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Introducing first from Chinese Taipei, this gentleman won the inaugural International Open in 2018. He's sponsored by Predator and by CPPA Cloth, known as the Fire Dragon. Please welcome Chang Yung Lin. His opponent's from Germany. This gentleman is a former international Bigfoot 10-ball champion, having accomplished that in 2021. He's sponsored by Predator and by How Tips. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the killer, Joshua Filler. <laughs> Your official timekeeper is Miss Dorothy Potke. I'm gonna send it upstairs to the comm box now to Mark Wilson and Kim Davenport. Take it away up there, guys. Hello, pool fans, and welcome to our perch high atop the Simona Arena. I'm Mark Wilson, and here with us providing expert analysis is Hall of Famer Kim Davenport. Kim, glad to have you here, and what should we look for in this match? Well, it's great to be here. Well, I've watched both of these players play, and I'll tell you what, it's just going to depend, I believe, on the break, because they both have just played tremendous pool. I mean, not missing hardly any balls. And uh, it, it, it's going to be very interesting to to watch these two players play, and they have two different styles. Uh, uh, this man that's breaking the balls right now, will he'll run a rack if you blink an eye. And, and the, uh, uh, Chang is a little more deliberate, deliberate, and uh, we'll see what happens. Dry break here to start the match. And you're right, you couldn't have a bigger contrast in styles. You got fast and loose, super shot maker, and then you got the tactician. It's very clinical, and everything's, you hardly ever see him make hard shots. He can make them, but he doesn't leave them for himself. He works really hard. Yeah, and it, it's almost like, you know, flip the coin. I mean, the, the, these two great players, when you get two great players playing, sometimes it's just a tick here or a tick there or, or a little bitty error, you know, within uh, milli inches. But, uh, He's off to a good start here. It, uh, off of Joshua's break, he's, he has a chance to win the opening game, and that's always pretty important because you only get to break every other time. He takes very conservative position routes, nothing fancy. He gets on, uh, once he gets on angle, he doesn't get off. He, he just seldom ever gets out of line. Yeah, he, he really is. I mean, I, I really enjoyed watching him play last night. It was the first time I watched him play. Well, here he has the three straight in. He's going to shoot the four in the side pocket and maybe the five right in the side pocket along with it. He even will know if he's going to shoot the five in the side here after he shoots this ball. Yeah, it looks like he's going to shoot in the corner, just roll the four ball straight up, and the five will be straight in. Shoot the six and the five in the same corner. Chang beat Alexander Kazakis in the first round. Jason Shaw last night to get here. The winner of this match goes on to play Van Boning. Chang is 38 years old. 
he doesn't have a problem here, but he, he would like to uh, have a little better angle. He might have to bump out and, and hit the rail by the side pocket. And one little flinch or anything like that, he could scratch. Let's see if he has to go into the rail instead of just drawing it straight back like he would want to. Yeah, he had to go into the rail. Look how smooth this cueing action is. It's, uh, it's deceptive. He's very quiet, very stoic over the ball. Very, he looks at every angle beforehand. Yes, yes, it, it, it's scary. I mean, like I've been out of it for some time now, I, uh, decades, and uh, watch all these new and young up-and-coming players. Uh, it's quite impressive. And they very seldom get to play on the 10-foot table, so you know, right. this is a little bit unfamiliar territory. This is not the exact angle. He, I don't believe he can shoot the uh, seven in the corner and roll the ball. I think he's going to come two rails. He'll go into the into the uh, yeah two rail and out. And that way he can control his ball. You and I have been doing so many of these matches. I watch, and then Chang was playing uh, over here. He was playing. Uh, let's see, who was he up against? Korst. So when I got done, I was over there watching it on the nine footer. The nine footer looked like a bar table after we've been looking at this. Oh yeah. We? Well, I think he would have rather been straight in so he could just roll it down. Now he has to come back across the table, and the tin ball is in the path, so he's going to have to manipulate the cue ball a little bit. Shouldn't be any problem. These are the greatest players in the world. He just doesn't want to get straight in with position. Perfect speed. Well, what he's done here, he's, he's done two things. He's ran out, which was very important, but he showed his opponent, hey, I'm here. I don't have any nerves, and let's do it. Yeah. The fire dragon opens up his account. 1-0 <laughs> in front of the killer. I must say, the probing eyes of China, Taiwan, We'll be watching this match very closely, I would have to think. Man, yeah, the, he's just, uh, uh, well, the, they're proud of him, for sure. The Coe brothers, Coe Pin Yi, has two world championships in one year, and yet still they kind of claim that this guy's better. Well, it, it's, it's hard for me to uh, even comprehend that somebody can be <laughs> better yeah and i know and at the end of the day really uh for me and and i believe that this is truly the way it should be that you 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 are uh you are rated by your accomplishments uh what your record says is, is what it is chang jun ling has over 20 major titles Shane Van Boning went to the Republic of China Taipei to play him on several occasions and ended up losing to Chang on each of them. Wow. I don't think I'd be going over there no more. <laughs> I wouldn't want <laughs> No, that. he did go back, and, and uh, Shane did beat him. Oh, okay. Yeah. So but, Shane but, couldn't get enough of it, huh? Uh, uh, Shane did not want to leave that lie. But that gives you an indicator of what kind of speed, uh, who do you know that has beat Shane <laughs> for money three times in a row. Right. He has a little, little bit of a difficulty, not much. Uh, his angle is going to bring the one ball back up in between the two and the three. He just wants to make sure and, and not go too far. He just wants to cut the two on the side and then come back up table, I believe. Or if you get straight in, it's perfect. And, yeah, that was a little unusual going in between the balls. He was near the rail, and he wanted to level off and make sure he got that ball down. Mm -hmm. So he couldn't really come back easily between the two and the three without taking on accuracy issues. <laughs> Look how fast he goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Truly the hare and the tortoise match yeah. here. Yes. Fun to, fun to watch. And you can't fault anybody for the way they play. I mean, you know, if one guy plays a little, it's just the way it is. It's, it's that way in all games, all sports. Filler, much more of a rhythm player. Uh, he just came out a little too far. He'd like to be a little closer to the rail. Now he's going to really have to 
punch that cue ball over to get on the other side of the rail where the six is. I don't know if he's going to go forward or just really ram it hard and get over there. He's going to have to shoot it pretty hard. Look at that. Really Like smooth. it was nothing. Wow. That is a, a spectacular position really? play. Yeah, that deserved a round of applause. To yes, him. it did. Because that was not a natural. He had the stun and, like you said, create that angle and for then you, govern the speed, too. Yeah. For you folks at home, just watch. He doesn't hit it hard, but watch how far it draws. See how easy he hit it? Look how far it goes down table. You don't have to really hit the ball hard to get a lot of uh, draw out of it or follow. You just have to make sure and stroke through the ball. The follow through, it gives you an extra 10 or 15% travel on the cue ball if you finish your stroke for the same tip speed. You just can't poke them. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, yeah, it looks like, a little well. tenuous there. And the problem is, he can glide it in off the rail, but he has to power up a little bit to get the cue ball to go somewhere, and that makes that pocket play extra unforgiving. Yeah, and plus, it's not like a just you can shoot the outside of the hole. I think he'll just draw it straight back, I would have to think. No, he forced oh, it over. Great wow. shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's happy that's over. Well, Josh was telling his opponent, I don't have any nerves either. Let's get it on. And we're all tied up one game apiece. We're using the AccuRack template that's provided really consistent racks throughout the week. It's a great product. Yeah, it's important for all the balls to be froze, too. You just get the maximum speed out of the uh, balls. I enjoy the uniformity of it. Everybody gets a good rack. Yeah. It's the yeah. same. You know, mm -hmm. so there's no complaining about that aspect of it. And we have a rule. You can't inspect the rack. You just have to break them once the referee sets the balls. And I also like that because it bogs down the match. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not like, you know, where they just, you know, you can rack them in two seconds. I mean, it takes a little bit of a time. Right. You have to load them in there to get them all froze. And you have to have good balls to do it with, too. You have to be the same size exactly. Yeah. No, that's really been a nice step forward. Uh, back when we played, it was a little bit more. We'd shake hands and may the best racker win type yeah. of thing. Yeah. I, I think I've lost more than one match in my life. Uh, I used to play a couple of guys and Every time I'd break him, it's like I was throwing a sponge at him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nothing would happen. All right. Here we go. He's changed his breaking position. He needs a kiss if he's going to make one. Well, he got quite a bit of ball action, but nothing dropped. Well, from what we've seen all week, Four. nobody's really uh, consistently making balls on the break. It's seven balls. Uh, he moved to the other end of the table. But, you know, it's also... The pockets are the same size as on a nine-footer, but there's another foot of rail there that you don't hit the pocket with, so it's not as easy as a nine-footer to pocket balls. Right. We've also seen some balls hang up that would have easily dropped on a nine-footer because, but it's just that extra distance. I think he's going to kick this safe. I don't think he's going. I think he's going to go two rails underneath, try to kick the one ball down table, and get behind the two and the nine with the cue ball. This would be a great shot. Look at this. What a hit. Look, oh, don't kiss. Good. Oh, he, he was unlucky there. He got the kiss. He hit it perfect. He oh, hit it sure. Just like, just like you described <laughs> it. He checked up the cue ball. He hit enough of the one uh, to take all the pace, that kick and stick, two cushions. And then now, I don't know, he has to well, he has to kick himself at the two, which is that's kind of ugly because he played that ball really nicely. You just cannot legislate for something like that. I mean, it's just impossible. I mean, yeah, I He's going this way. He's going to try to send the cue ball down table now and, and maybe make the two where the eight's at. It's going to be cutting going that way. Oh. <laughs> that's, so that's two great shots and two bad rolls. Oh, that's cruel. And look at the seven ball. I mean, it doesn't even look like that's hardly on that you'll buy there. But he hit those balls as good as you possibly could. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, mathematically, you come out doing those two things way more often than you don't. But he lost on both fronts. Oh, man, and I mean, he hit both of them. You couldn't hit him no better. And that was just a little hint of how, you know, when I brag on the fire dragon, <laughs> now you know what I've been seeing. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be able to get exactly straight in on this combination because of the seven. But uh, I do believe that's what he'll play the combination. That's what he looked at. Uh, it would be too dangerous trying to make the five and go all the way down table two or three rails and try to shoot it back uh, up here in this corner. I think he's trying to get around the six. Do you? Yeah, you I think do. He's gonna go try I'll to... tell you why. That combination... Well, he has to now. It looks like, doesn't it, Mark? Well, he could go soft, but you don't want to play off-angle, long combo. And see, the eight's not just hanging. If it was closer to the pocket, well, he's looking at the combo. So perhaps I'm wrong. I thought when he drug the cue ball back, he was definitely looking yeah, at Yeah, I know that he didn't there. want to go that far. I know that. No, he, he's, right now he's shaking his head side to side because he knows he's kind of in that nether region where you have to make it. But that is the key. Make a decision right now what you're doing. Yeah, because if he tries to go two rails underneath the seven, I don't think he can dig down far enough to get it underneath the six. And if he tries to go two rails out and uses inside English, it's 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 going to have to really hit it a lot harder than he wants to because the English will take the ball. See right now, now look at it, Skid. There it is. Yep, okay. He decided to go ahead and Ooh. shoot his combination. <laughs> Yeah, they're a foot and a half apart, and he's probably four feet from the six ball, and it's off angle. So you've got to hit a really pure ball here. Yeah. And look how he has to hit it on that side and then send the cue ball back over because oh. he was off angle. A little bit cruel there because, boy, did he make a nice shot there. And he he didn't wiggle home. He, he hit the heart of the pocket with that. Well, looks like he's going to try to cut the paint off this ball. Unless I'm... Uh, yeah, no, but it's up a little bit. So he's got a little leeway. It's not right on the rail. All right. Cue ball needs to come all the way back up and all the way down for that seven now. He's going to have to hit it hard. Oh, I don't care much for this. <laughs> but he shoots straight, so I guess <laughs> you know, that's, that's what it is. Here we go. We get to see what the uh, killer's all about here. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, if there's any nerves in this will expose it. Yeah. We'll watch his head here coming through. See if we can keep the head still. Head was still. Oh, and look, he got up before it got to the pocket, and he had two steps. When he's moving like that, you know he's happy with the outcome before it even happens. Spin it out two rails and come down. Gorgeous. Yeah. We're in for a match here. This is good stuff. Chang didn't do anything wrong. Just misfortune on two shots that time, right? He couldn't have hit him like it was you couldn't have drawn it on paper to go any better. Very unlucky. I mean he shot the right shot both times and uh, just both times was just unlucky. That's really that's yeah. really all you can say. This tournament should happen, you know, once a month. I could just have 16 elite guys and 5 by 10 and play it off like this. Travel go, the yeah. country. And then the 16 guys can make a living. And it's fun for the fans. I know one thing. If you like pool, there's no place to be but right here. And look at the stands in the outer arena, too. We got the two. We have three arenas. One, we have the TV arena, but we also have the outer arenas. And man, these seats are taken. There's people in here sweating it everywhere. Good audience here on center court, but great audience on the outside. They're just virtually full. Let's see if he decides to really go after him. Four and a nine. Ball's right behind the one. Those are the ones that find the side pocket the most. Neither one. 
Dry break. Yep. Four breaks. Oh. Nobody's made a ball yet. Nice open layout, too. I bet Van Boney made some balls on his breaks. Yeah, he did. He came up dry uh, more than once, though. But, you he know, did, that's huh? just all part of it. Well, I think he's going to try to just spin it out two rails. You know, missed a six ball and uh, get him a little angle on the two. It's kind of a dicey shot. He can't really just make it and, and bring it straight back up because of the uh, four ball there. So I think he's going to spin it two rails. A lot of English. You can, when you use a lot of English, you can hit the ball you're shooting, the object ball, full, and the English will throw it in. Oh, he reversed it. Uh, well, we get to see another nice long mm. hit here. Stem across. He just uh, not all the way across. He just needs to come halfway across. Is all. So. Yeah, I mean they shoot so straight that uh, you know they don't they don't really need to get perfect. Pretty. Now it's just glide this home, which I say just, like it's easy. It's still not easy, but the cue ball does go the right path here. <laughs> He's nodding his head like, please don't get straight on me now, which it did. Now he can have to draw one rail. Back to the center of the table again, so we can easily traverse from the five to the six. Uh oh, unbelievable! Yeah. I don't, I don't understand what happened there. That he did he, he miss you? Yeah, Is that what happened? Yeah. Well, he's pretty fortunate. I thought I heard the miscue, but I don't hear as good as I used to. But uh, mm, very fortunate to pocket the ball. But one thing we almost know he missed you because he doesn't miss by that dimension of the pocket. He, if he misses, it rattles the pocket. Well, I would have to, yeah, I would have to say he just, you know, go ahead and cut the five in. The shape's automatic. You just make the five ball and you, you have shape on the six. I mean, after after the miscue, I can't see him playing safe. No, you have a free chance to win here compared to what you were thinking was going to happen. Oh, what a nice shot that yeah. was. He had to use all of the pocket, but, boy, that was a super tough game. Yeah, he hit a little heavy. That's why his cue ball didn't come back out. He, he wanted to come out a little further, but I, I believe he's fine. <laughs> I think he's happy that ball fell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice little thin cut. Go three rows for position. I always marvel at the talent of these guys because think of how much fun it is when you're pocketing balls this freely to play. Yeah. You can just make any shot at any time from anywhere. Yeah. Well, when you're playing really good, you, you think you're never going to play bad. And when you're playing really bad, you think you're never going to play good again. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's just, it, it, is, it is quite the dilemma. This isn't a good shot. Oh, oh, oh I, <laughs> I want to see a little. Uh, now he's got to get the bridge out. Oh, my. I know one thing. He didn't want to tickle the eight ball. He's going, what am I doing here? How did that happen? Mm -hmm. It's all fine now. Notice, notice how he's using the bridge, that yeah. form. You know, he lays his arm down on it. And he's using the extension. Look, he didn't take the extension off. Still has the extension on. Wow. Okay, I guess these guys can just do it all. Your cue feels so weird with it's on there and uh, unfamiliar, but I guess he plays with it on there quite a bit anyway. So. Uh, that's the first time I've ever noticed that, but uh, wow. He kind of scrambled through that rack somehow, didn't he? Oh, he's he, very fortunate. And, very fortunate to, uh, to win but, that game. But, uh, boy, did he ever have to come up, come up with some shots there to get out from the dry break. Now he's taking his extension off. He keeps looking at his cue, and now he's scratching his head. <laughs> that miscue spooked him because yeah, he's going to yeah, definitely need yeah. to dig down later on. Yeah, because uh, uh, the players use a lot of extreme low English uh, quite a bit of the time. So, 
Yeah, that's why players always, and I, I always did, I always, you know, after every shot, just chalk up, chalk up, chalk up, because... What is he asking? He's somebody? asking Pia for a, uh, uh, a tip tapper. Oh, he don't have a tip tapper. Well, or something to scuff. The, uh, his oh. wife is in the stands. Oh, I see. Okay. He's he's concerned about the possibility of a. Uh, oh, new chalk was it? Okay. Oh, oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Well, something went in the side pocket. Yeah, it's made two balls that I can see. Was that the one ball, I guess? And yeah, the one on the mm -hmm. side. And I didn't see the other one that went in. But yeah, I believe it was a nine ball. Here's our re-break here. The other one went right in the side. The five and eights tangled up there, so... So far in this tournament, there's only going to be a total of 15 matches. Twice we've seen the three foul rule come into effect. You don't see very many games won on the three foul rule. No, you sure Especially don't. at this level. I think we did a match last night that had one. Yep. I do believe. Yeah, I can't remember had one today. what match it was. But he said, I don't see anything. Go ahead. Looks like he's going to go one rail and kick it down. What he's not going to do is break up to five and the eight. No. That's that's last choice. Well, the it's only way that he could, but he won't hit it that hard, is the cue ball's going to hit the six. That's his stopper. He wants the cue ball to hit the six and stop. No, see, he hit it too far on the other side. Now he's left a shot. But that, it's not easy. And that was his idea, and he knows he's going to leave him long. He just doesn't want to, you know, at least make him work for it. Right. Filler has twice been a Moscone Cup MVP. Well, there's several ways to break this five out. I just can't see one. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'll shoot the uh, four ball in the corner down there and send the cue right into the five and the eight. That's what I believe will happen. Yeah, I think that's the most logical route. Wants to say kind of out in the center of the table with a good angle. That's a good angle. Yes, it is. Look at his the face. You know, like you can see super concentration there. And he's going to measure this up. Yeah, because if he hits the five first, the five is going to come down to the end rail, and then the eight is going to follow it. Right. I like I like going underneath the five myself and kicking it back over to the other uh, to the other uh, corner pocket. Mm -hmm. Because if you shoot it easy, too many things can happen. If you shoot it with a, a good pace, you, you're more than likely going to get a shot. Let's see what he does here. Singular focus on pocketing the four, and not worry about it. There you go. Oh, did he get tangled up? Man, I, I must be a jinx. If he's tangled up. Uh, it's <laughs> close. I think he has it. But, uh, let's see. He's not agonizing. Oh, he has it. it. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, so he yeah that was. See, and see, he hit it pretty firm. Yeah. He'd come in the backside of it. So, there, you know, he would have been unlucky to get snookered there. So it all looks good. Just a nice, easy shot. It'll roll up and uh, shoot the six over there in the corner. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Kept the cue ball off the rail, but yet got quite a bit of the ways down the table, so the cut on the six was uh, very controllable. Right. If you get a little thin on there, then that 10 ball comes into play, and which side you land on the 10 dictates where the cue ball goes. No, this is a little touchy. I think he's going to have to, you know, it's a little touchy. I, uh, he can't hit it real hard, or he might scratch here, but he's never going to scratch from here because he won't hit it that hard. But he's going to go back and shoot in the same pocket. They're both solid. It's just what's not working is their break. 
but they're they're they've both been solid so far. Of course, the last break was pretty good. Two balls. I think he just made a little error on his push out there. What Let kind me. of tip did you play with, Ken? I played, when I first started playing, uh, the gentleman owned the uh, billiard room. We used to have those old champions. The, the old, they were blonde. They come out of France. And then after that, they, they were going away. I just uh, used Le Pro. I know, me too. Yeah. And then in later years, uh, Tad made these, what I consider to be good Le Pros. And I don't know if it's true. They said they were made out of water buffalo hide. Yeah. All I know is that they remind me of really good champ or Le Pros. Right. And so I played them, but now they quit making them. And so I've tried a lot of these different laminated tips. I just I prefer the one piece tip. It seems like I miss you more with the laminated tip. But a lot of great players play them. But yeah, I don't think I've ever. I I doubt if I even know they had laminated tips. To be honest with right. You, well, so. they didn't really. They that was the yeah. first advent of that was Maury tips. Okay, I remember those. Yeah, tips are. I mean, tips are like what forty, fifty, sixty bucks now or something well, for some. One? Yeah, some. I mean, that's totally amazing. I play with you know just La Pro still, or or well, actually I still have a couple tads left, but you can't get them. You can get the tad laminated, you can't get the tad one piece. Right. I know that uh, Nick Varner and myself both, when we were playing, we liked to play with the tip would go all the way down almost to the ferrule. I mean mm -hmm. that small. I just felt like I could get a lot more English on it because playing a rotation game like nine ball you're, you're always constantly throwing and using English on the ball I never did like a big full tip I'd get the tip on cut it half off and then round it out and that, that was a good for at least a year a year oh yeah good god and it played it played almost every day too yeah all right so he said okay well, let me try this from the side rail He hit him pretty good. Yeah, but nothing. Uh, yeah, get, I just, think he missed the head ball a little yeah. bit. And that has to be very, very uh, disturbing mentally, knowing that when you get up, you're not making any balls in the break. Yeah. And, and you just watched your opponent break from the same spot and made two. Well, he was on the other side, but still off the rail. But these players are great at adjusting, so uh, this match is really just getting started. It's so pretty to watch. Uh, superstar shot maker at work here. Oh, yeah. Now the nine ball will hold the two in position. He'll make the combination. The two will run into the nine. And he'll bounce the cue ball back off the rail. And he'll be pretty close to straight in on the two. Or keep a little angle so he can go up. But the most important thing is pocketing that uh, eight ball. <laughs> Did he hit it hard enough? Or well, what? I felt like he wanted to hit it hard because I think if he hit it soft, the two may leak down to the end rail. Rather, when you thump it, it kind of warps over into the nine. That, yeah. I kind of felt like that's why he played it at that speed. Yeah. I was a little surprised he hit it that hard. But Me anyway, too. it, it didn't yeah. worked out perfect. Two didn't move very far. And the three goes by the four down there, it looks like. I think he was looking at it, so... He That's would like to come out. He would come out like to come out all the way a little farther. He's fine. He can just go into the round, come back out. Yeah, he's not wasting any time. He feels very comfortable with this shot. He was, yeah, he's not too happy with that. But he couldn't. He couldn't afford to get uh, elevated over the seven ball. Yeah, that's right. And he didn't want a whole lot of the other angle either, I don't think. So. Okay, now he, he's got his extension out. I cannot imagine him uh, making this ball and then running out with that extension on again. I, 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 I can't see it. I, I think what happened last I, I know he didn't forget. He's too young to forget. <laughs> but uh, 
I, I'm, I'm curious, actually, to see if he takes the extension off after he makes this ball. He has good form there. Look at that. That's just pretty good form. That's that's nice really job. good right there. Yeah, nice, nice job good. there. Right, take it off. There you go. Thank you. This run started with kind of a nice long straight in one, and then he made that good combo on the two. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Boy, he's got everything crafted open now, though, for making the series some nice shots. About that above the seven. He wants to get above it. Well, he wants to get straight in on it. Yeah, so now he has no angle, so he has to take a longer shot. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Uh, how's your speed? Uh, I'm a little surprised about speed? that, but uh, maybe... He didn't like the angle he was on to spin it out of there two rails. It really stems back to his position on the seven, however. Uh-huh, yeah. Yes, indeed. He just didn't get an angle. Well, this isn't an easy shot, Mark, I don't believe. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you, you know, know it isn't. Jeez. It's easy to hit this heavy. Ooh. That's good stuff. Yeah, that was a great rack there. Yeah. That, I always say this, that rack should be worth two games. Such a good idea. Huh, yeah. Well, he does what I used to do. I, when I take the balls out of the pocket, I used to roll them down and roll them into the pocket. Mm -hmm. the, the last pocket where you rack them. Zero errors made, 40 balls pocket for filler. That's a 1,000 TPA thus far. Shoot the 1,000. Not going not gonna to lose doing that. Well... I, I just don't know if this, uh, he, I mean, that's almost unattainable to shoot a 1,000 race to 10 on this uh, five and a half by nine. And <laughs> Van Boning almost did it. Yes, the last he match. did. I was I was doing that match. Yeah, that was that was quite a. I never missed a ball. I think he made one position there. That was quite amazing. And I believe it was a 978. I do believe that's incredible performance. I, it could have been a 980. I tell you what, I was so I was so in awe that I I really didn't even know what I was looking at. Really, that was that was. I've never seen anybody play that good on a five by ten. Put it that way in one match. Yeah. Yeah, he missed the head ball a little bit there, and that's why he didn't get the distribution. Yeah, of the balls. they kind of didn't. Yeah, there's no no distribution. Of the balls they kind of just poof. But it looks like the bank might be on. Uh, he was a little, little fortunate not to just leave him straight in. A lot of times when you break the balls and don't make a ball, your opponent has a good clear shot at the pocket. But not in this case. But these guys are so good with their banking ability. He might just bank this in and go right down for the two. Don't have to do much with the cue ball. Very nice shot to open this turn. He's he has a funny angle there. He can't he can't come back underneath where he's at right now. I I, I don't think. I mean, maybe he can because he's looking at the outside of the ball. He will really have to put a super stroke on it. I don't think he can. He'll have to catch the outside of the pocket. You know what I mean, Mark? But you're coming the into inside. the narrow window because you yeah. got to clear the eight. So you have even less for him to get positioned that way. I'll tell you what. He, maybe he's going to try to go all the way back and up. I mean, he's really loading up like he's going to try right. that. You're right. I have to see this. Oh, he went for the short window. The speed's yeah, got to be perfect. too much, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It was a very narrow window to get into if he with that hint of the wrong angle. Now he's got kind of tangled up on that four ball where he has to kick, it looks like. Yeah, Over he was – uh, I'm sorry. He was uh, – Concentrate too much on making the one instead of getting this cue ball in position out a little further, you know, where he could just slide back easily. Well, 
We watched him early, kick two balls in, great shots. He's got to hit it hard to get separation. But jacked up and not following on that object ball makes hitting it hard difficult. Yeah, see, that's about as hard as he could have hit it, too. I mean, it's just like, right. Can't get no force on it. And now Filler's got a shot in the side that easily leads to the four ball if he makes it. Well, straight as he shoots, I, uh, I don't think he's going to miss. But anything can happen out here. This is the semifinals to go into the finals. <laughs> nice shot. He's a nice young man, too. Mm -hmm. I spoke with him briefly. Yeah, what? Something happened there. Uh, it looked like he moved. <laughs> He's smiling. Yeah. Mm. Ephraim used to do that. Ephraim would shoot a shot, and if, he, if it didn't come out like it would, he'd just smile. <laughs> you know, like, oh, well. Yeah, he's smiling, but he's really not happy with himself. No, he's actually crying. <laughs> All right. He might have to run into the ball here. Watch out for the nine. How'd he do? Oh, oh wow. Okay. What a good shot. <laughs> well, that's over with. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. This, uh, this pocket billiards is just a game of endless predicaments. Do you think you've seen it all? No chance. To me, it's the greatest sport ever. It's well, the I mental, most, the physical, the challenge, the eternal right. challenge. I most definitely made a living doing it. It afforded me to travel all over the world. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I was uh, very pleased with uh, the outcome of everything in pocket millions. It's going to have to snip this a little bit, draw it over to the side, and just come down for the nine. Not an easy shot, but delicate. Just going to draw it one reel. I don't think he's going to, uh, no way, roll it. Just going to draw it out and come back over, it looks like. Either that or just stun it and shoot it in the same pocket. Oh, back over. Good shot. Had a little more angle than you think, so he had to make a good stroke there. And then that looming, uh, I miscued earlier going super low, <laughs> is in the back of your mind, too. Oh, yeah. 5-2 is our score. Well, it's one inning, ten ball. Whoever gets to the first shot first is running out. Yeah. Oh, these ter yeah, these uh, players playing in tournaments. I mean, he's probably. I, I, I've gone. I don't know how many tournaments in a row without miscuing. I mean, you know, it's like it's a it's a big shock to you when you when you miscue. It really is. It happens to everybody. I mean, he 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 could go a whole year without miscuing. That's how good these guys put the tip on the cue ball nowadays. Well, the lead is starting to get commanding because it's only a race to 10. <laughs> he signaled to you, uh, pointing at the chalk from his chair, talking about Josh Filler. Like that chalk helped. <laughs> well, you know, in golf, if golfers hit a bad shot, it's never their fault. So pool players, <laughs> you know, it can't be my fault. Give me some new chalk. It had to be the chalk. Uh-oh. That yeah, is not the answer. He, uh, no. Uh, he he mishit the cue ball, had side spin, scored it right into the side pocket. And look at this layout, Kim. This is just a disastrous uh, for uh, Chang. I mean, it's unbelievable because he is so good. He pockets the ball so good, but he can't. If you, if you can't make a ball in the break, it's hard for you to actually win a, a match against a top player. You, you just can't hardly do it. Right. Yeah. A lot of things got to go wrong for the other guy if you never make a ball in the break. Well, 
as again, he's looking like, what did I just do? He didn't come out far enough. So now he might have to shoot the two ball where he just made the one. Huh. Or, or the three ball, I mean, for position, going between the uh, then the tens in play. I mean, that's really a, a mental no, mistake. And the other part of it is it sort of allows your opponent to get psychologically back in that you didn't get out of this. Here he comes. Watch the 10. Good recovery shot. Yeah, it's like, okay, now it's not no going to be easy to get on the four, and you don't really want to play a four-six combination. <laughs> I think he's amused at the simplicity of this game. <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he scratches his head, walks around, yeah. gets it three rounds, gets straight in. Oh, boy. Okay, the four goes by the six then. No, I don't think so. I think oh. it's a combo. Oh, yeah. He's going to combo. I don't think he'll hit it very hard unless he hits it that goes down to the corner. Yes. That can, that can, uh, trouble. Ah, that's another Big trouble. It all now stemmed, he is in trouble. It, it all stemmed from not getting good with the ball in hand shot deal. That's what created all this problem. Well, cue ball is going to come off the point and go back down for position for the five. Watch That'll out for the scratch. Pretty shot if he gets it. Well, he didn't hit it hard enough to scratch Well, I'm surprised. You just cannot be careless there with that ball in hand and not get because he, if he gets on the three, good. Then the rest of the rack plays pretty nice. Believe it or not, this is not an easy shot. The ten ball and the eight ball are both in his way. He would love to come over by the ten and, and over there, but he's and plus it's in the pocket deep. Yeah, and a lot of times you. you you know, when you're shooting that, you well, how's my cue ball going to come out of that pocket? Is it going to catch that point? I mean, he might try to just go really inside and, and just barely thin it and go back up table. He's drawing it all the way back, it looks like. Pretty stroke. Mm. Pretty stroke. That is very difficult to do. <laughs> very wow. difficult right there. I love that shot. Yeah, he didn't even want to fool with the 10 and the 8 like oh, you suggested. He oh, just said, I'll just muscle it back here. Joshua has to be just uh, beating himself up. That was, that was almost, you know, an insurmountable lead. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Well, he's not playing nothing like he did last night. Uh, I don't know. I think it's just that that's just nerves. That, that, that's all it is. It, it, it can't be nothing else. Well, it hit inside the jaws. He just slightly overcut it, and then this pocket's so tight that it wasn't like he butchered into the rail or anything. It was, but we expect him fully to get out after he made that great eight ball or draw shot or whatever ball that was. All right, roll it down and make it down there. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he's not showing no uh, look of disgust. 6-2 really. now is our score. That was a huge game. He could have got within two, and now he's down four. Hmm. Pretty good crowd over there watching nine ball. Oh yeah, that's what yeah, I was looking at. Pretty good see crowd on both sides. It's really cool that they have that nice app that you can look out and see the scores. I can't read the players' names, but nevertheless, right. if you are here in attendance, you can see the score easily on every match with what player it is. You can't see the names, and I can't see the scores. Oh, I can see the <laughs> scores. Yeah. No, we're a it's fine not, pair. It's not quite that bad yet. <laughs> uh, Filler's going back to the side break. Uh -huh. It's the five or is it the seven? Seven and the four right behind the one. One ball found the corner pocket. The four ball's going to find the pocket. Is he getting a shot on the two? It's going to be a long one and not an easy one. Not much reward. 
if you do score it. What do you think? You think well, back cut it? Back cut it? Yeah, try to bring maybe. the cue ball back down there where he's at now? Yeah, I, I like that, but, man, you really have to be careful. You could scratch if you hit it, you know, just a, a bit too thick. I like the way he's really taking his time lining it up. Yep, good call. Boy, good execution. It's, it's a much easier task to call it than it is to shoot it. Ooh. This could be a tough hit. Almost have to masse around the nine and then hook it back two rails. I don't think he can go flat into the straight straight into the end rail. Maybe he can. Nope, half masse. Good shot. Sure was. Good shot. Well, now this isn't going to be easy for Filler either. No, can he get behind the six? He's going to just ball? nip it. I don't know. From this angle, it doesn't want to get behind the six. Oh, well, maybe if he can hit it that good, maybe it does. Nice idea. Didn't quite get there. Hit this very hard. I think Fuller's almost forced to kick at it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he's lining it up. Yeah, he's chose the correct way to go, too, instead of going up table. Because if he goes up table, he would break out the five right. or the nine. Well, plus, he, if he makes the two here, he can get position. To catch a rail? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Nice speed. Good choice. If it goes in the pocket, he was good. If it doesn't, he's not in the worst position ever. Great cue ball there. Yeah, but he's a little unlucky with that 210. Huh. I think Joshua can somehow manipulate the ball. Yeah, he, might, no, he might not even have to. He, yeah, he's looking like he can play that straight on. It's oh, far from a hanger. But if a really accurate hit is made here, he can score the game right now. Watch the double kiss after he shoots. Oh, he hit it too thin. No double kiss. Wow. <laughs> well, I think he's, well, I don't know, that's a little too far out to play a billiard. I think he might try to get position on the three and, and uh, bust that five out with the three ball. Good shot there. I mean, at this point in the match, he can't, you know, he has to go offense. Yeah, it's not a comfortable way to play here because, it, one, you don't have to break him out. But, two, if you do, you really don't know exactly what you're going to get out of it. I'll be surprised if you don't try to break him out. If, if he doesn't try to break him out, he's going to try to play a billiard. Look at that nice hit. Yeah, beautiful what a shot. shot. Oh, what yeah. a shot. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Caught it just <laughs> perfect on the right side where the pipe came out for the uh, tip. Uh, incredible. Incredible clean hit there. Now easy billiard to win this. And there we go. These guys can create openings from nowhere. It's 
6-3. Feller offering at 9.51 TPA. It's awful strong. Chris Reinhold enters the arena. Raw Hannah sitting in the crowd. Donnie yeah, Mills. Raw with the juniors doing a great job. Oh, yeah. Great job. He's all over the map with his break. He just can't figure it out. Uh, just, he doesn't know what to do. Just keeps moving. You can't even get a floor ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're rolling bad. Yeah, at least happened. he didn't scratch. <laughs> Correct. Can you see the one to make it? I don't think so. I don't think he can. I think you can see the edge of it, maybe. Well, he's kicking at it. Kicking it, I don't well, I guess so. It's kind of far off to to kick and, and hold the cue ball unless he hits it pretty. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to kick that. It's gonna, I think he's going to send it cue ball down table and the one ball stop by the eight. Two rails by the eight. He wants to mm. behind the eight. What a shot that was. What a great shot. Mm -hmm. So he could see an edge of it. And could boy, see edge. a perfect decision and perfect uh, speed, too. Oh, is there a window to get through there? Is he well, looking at that? I guess like there it, is. It? Here, I assumed it was blocked up, and, and now it looks like maybe he can get right by there. Well, if he could somehow win this game here, he would uh, most. Oh, he has to. Yeah, he has to elevate. He has to jump. Full cue. Required to jump here. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that shot. Watch the tip. Look at that shot. What a shot. <laughs> now, you and I don't mind the jump shot with your full cue if you can no, make that, right? That's funny. That's, yeah. yeah. That's me. There's no gimmick to that. You just have to make a great shot. That was a good shot, too. You're not kidding. That much. Yeah. You know, a lot of times, you know, right when you make a real good shot and then you have kind of an easier shot, it's it's not all that easy. And that was not an easier shot either, and especially when you're trailing and need to win. And then Filler's been pumping those type mid-range shots in just with regularity. Yeah. Miraculous shots usually come from disastrous positions. <laughs> Might have a little bit of a problem because uh, he, he's going to have to run into that 10 unless he can stay above the 5 and stop stop it right there. Because hmm. he most definitely don't want to run into the 10. Yeah, these guys have taken 10 ball to another level, and it's a science. It's not just ram around and hope you get something. Yeah. They make angles happen. Okay. Now he has to worry about the nine and the mm -hmm. seven because he has to get up above where the eight's at. So I guess he could force it. I don't, I don't know if he could force it in one rail and go up by the side or or draw it out two rails. Well, we'll see what he's going to do here. 
What are the two? Could he go short side? No. He's not choosing that. He's going over here. Maybe. Gonna try to go between the nine and the seven here, I guess. Yeah. Watch out. A pretty nice shot. No. Oh, gosh. Yeah, he just overcooked oh, gosh. it. I, yeah. I believe. Well, maybe not. I, I mean, it's hard to tell the angle, but it. I know he didn't look happy with it. No. And he kind of needed that pace to be able to hold it through the seven and nine. Mm -hmm. Wasn't like he just blasted it for no reason. Uh, the fact of the matter is there's no reason to check. It's frozen here. Well, I'll tell you what. If, if he's shooting it, it must go. He has to get good position now. He's got to worry about the position and not just so much making the six. Oh, boy. What a shot. You know, using that much English when you're frozen on the road, yeah. you know how good a shot that was, Mark. Yeah, the score is not indicative of the quality of the play by Chang. He, he made some really tremendous shots and somehow got punished for making these tremendous shots early in the set. And he clearly hasn't given up. Well, this was one quality out. <laughs> You're not kidding. Wow. Yeah. yeah. He's earned this. He had to manufacture some angles, do some good shot making. Six four now. Yeah, it's a new match. When it was 6 2, that's, you know, ooh. that's not good. <laughs> it's starting to slip away. Yeah, a little it, bit it really there. was. Another game or two, and really the match was almost lost, even though, you know, it's a race to 10. This alternating, this alternating break just puts so much more pressure on the players. Great performance. What's the story? Oh, flashed it away before I could see. Same demeanor. Hasn't changed. Oh, you can never look at him and tell if he's winning or losing. It's yeah. exactly the same throughout. He's, I always admire his tenacity, the toughness, and the focus. It drains you of energy. He's been making the one ball with regularity. That's at least the third like he time. He cut break those. Yep. Like they've been doing a nine ball nowadays. He's making the one. And look at this nice shot on the two. Oh, yeah. Start his run. Just has to worry about not to run into the six. I believe he'll shoot the two ball and come out two rails. Three in the side. He's pretty good with this bridge, I'll tell you that much. It's almost like the, an extension of his arm. Can't go too far. I think he's just gonna draw it straight back to him. And shoot it. I don't think he wanted to do that, but I think the angle that he has, he has to almost. Uh, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see what you well. I'm not going to second guess Filler's shot selection here, but it looks like from here, when I look at the overhead, it looks like the draw is the easiest.
He had to hit that pretty good because, you know, you you got the 5 and the 10 there. I mean, if you undercook it, then you're going to be snookered. If you overcook it, you could, you know, the 5 could get you. So their speed control is so good. And if you hit the wrong part of the pocket, you know, yeah. it's. But, yeah, the speed control stems from the accuracy because if you don't pocket the ball well, your speed control is going to be off. So. And plus, the ball was close to the pocket, and when you're close to the pocket, you can you can cheat it one side or the other. You know, it allows you that right. to, to do that, so you can create a bigger angle. He wants to go. He didn't want straight in. good position shot and uh, everything's right in front of him. Look out. Look out. Is he that good to just float it down on the end rail and get position? <laughs> That's good. Well, that yeah, I'd be a little afraid fortune. to get straight in, you know. Yeah, I mean? well, he wasn't. I mean, it was, you know, it was right. a long travel. So. <clears throat> a little bit out of his control at the end, but it worked out great. Sure did. That, that wreck might take all of about a minute and 30 seconds. And it was such a good opportunity for him to get his momentum was starting to slip away a little bit. And then he comes right back from Cali. He took a nice run out there. 7 4 is our score. We changed referees, didn't we? Yes, we did, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ken Schumann. Ken must be hungry. <laughs> be well, he takes all, yeah, he, he's done for the day when he leaves like that. Ball made the pocket. Is yeah. he get a shot on the one? I think he is. Yeah. Look at there. He says, "Where's this been the whole match?" The eight ball fell in finally. Look at the ten. The ten didn't hardly move. Now getting on the three here, boy. That's a real puzzle. You either perfectly straight in or have a hint the wrong angle. Yeah, he's gonna shoot it right, right back down in this. Bottom right hand corner by the 10, I think. He wants to get right back about where he's standing over there by that side pocket, if I had to guess. I mean, that's yeah. that's what it looks like to me. He has to hit a very good shot, but it's it's very doable. Good scratch on this ball, too. E uh, 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 mm, oh, very good. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Thought he overcooked it for a second. Now he has another very tough position uh, shot because you can see the four won't go where the seven's at. So he's going to have to draw it to the rail and come in between the six and the nine. Or come in between the nine and the four, I should say, not in between the six and the nine. That'd be too good. <laughs> yeah, it would. <laughs> this is a boy you're going to have to. Well, if you want to beat filler, you have to gut out tough outs like this. But, boy, it's not fun. Yeah, and he has to put a good stroke on this, too. He really has to stroke. The, I can't believe if he's going to go three rails underneath a 10. No way. No, I think yeah, I think he's no playing way. draw across. No way. Oh, he he sure did. I'll be darned. I just had a feeling he might do that. Look at that shot. Look at that I shot. I thought he might. Oh, it's yeah. unbelievable. Gorgeous. Perfect speed control. Hit the heart of the pocket. <laughs> 
By golly. I mean, I've seen that shot, but I'm thinking, there ain't no way. Nobody's going to shoot that shot. And what did he do? Dead center. That's good. That's real good right there. Just about as good as it gets, actually. Well, it looks like he's just going to pocket the five and bounce out one rail and shoot the six in the corner down where he's at. That seems to be the logical shot, but uh, after that last shot, I don't know. Look how low he's a tip, tip in on the uh, cue. Hmm. Yeah, this is high quality stuff here. Well, this is the semifinal match, so both of these players are playing good to reach this point. Yeah, it was an elite field, and somehow the elite players are rising to the top. It's not, not a difficult shot, but he has to pinch the cue ball and just slide over one rail for the seven. He never overhits the ball. He, he just just feathers in there. He's, well, it's a joy to watch because that really aids consistency and not moving that cue ball very much. Straight off the rail. Come back up for the nine. One rail draw. I like the way he goes and he looks, you know, uh, where do mm -hmm. I want to get, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, he's never surprised by uh, what he has before him. He always checks it out, makes sure that's what he wants. I mean, it's like, who? It's like, you know, when you go to the refrigerator and open it up, you, you always know where your milk is, you know what I mean? But <laughs> it's like, okay, wait a minute. I know it's there, but I want to look. <laughs> okay. Quality break and run out there. That was that was a wonderful three rail shot for position he made. Man, wonderful. He's at nine hundred now. That's that's very good. The other guy shooting the nine fifty eight, and you're still at nine hundred. That's that's strong. Yeah, if you're at nine hundred, you're losing. Your opponents are really. <laughs> yeah. Really playing well. well. Coming up after this match will be Van Boning versus the winner of this match in the finals. Starts off ball in hand this time. Yeah. He's in total control of this game. No matter what happens, it's up to him. tricky shots when you have to go past the side pocket because you know those points you think they stick out they really don't but players have hit them shots going down the rail many a times I know I have yeah why do you think they don't stick out <laughs> I mean they're not supposed to but I'm just saying boy they seem to jump out there and get you often uh -huh. I don't think he's too happy with his position play here 
the four balls up. He needs to get up and shoot the four where he's going to make the three. Might just have to draw it straight back where he's at. Or he's going to come out two rows, maybe it looks like. Wants to go all the way. Don't want to kiss. He got a little straighter than he probably wanted to be. Now he's going to have to stroke it up there on top of the four. Get, play the four in the same pocket that he's playing the three. So this is just a, it's a shot he can handle, but it's a little bit more. You're relying on your stroke rather than the uh, cue ball direction that you achieve if you have an angle. Look out. Look out. You don't want to get over that ball. That's not good. Yeah, when you have to create direction and um, speed, then that's when the things right. go awry. And that's where if you have proper angles, then you got the cue ball going where you want to. And you only have to deal with the speed control aspect. Exactly. See, he when he come two rails uh, out shooting the one, he didn't want to touch that nine. And that's what got Because he'd have been over and he'd have had a, a, a very easy position play. But uh, he's in trouble now. I mean... He has to shoot. I, I don't think he's going to try to play safe. He's down two games in the match. Uh, I think he just has to slow roll it in and shoot the five down where he's at, but maybe he won't. It's an awful tall order is all I can tell you. He won't be going very fast. Oh, he decided to play safe. Okay. Well, I guess I can't fault him for that. Hmm. Now we get a, this will be a pretty shot here. <laughs> the fire dragon made a decent uh, attempt at safety here. Yeah, I think he just has to go ahead and just pocket the ball with pocket speed. Don't do nothing with the cue ball, just roll it in. Made that shot thousands of times. <laughs> well, I look at it the other way. Missed it tens of thousands of times. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> All right, now, take it easy. I sure wouldn't want to be thinking that when I was No, shooting. I know. <laughs> With the, what I had to deal with, I got that little man on the side of my shoulder there telling yeah. me, you should have never been here. Look what you've done. Shape should be natural. Uh, <laughs> These guys, uh, now all of a sudden, they're going to play safe? Well, but look. I at, guess it's okay. Yeah. I mean, if you play safe, not good. But, I mean, as straight as he's been shooting, I, I would have thought he would have just rolled that right yeah, There is limitations. <laughs> Yeah, who said that? Clint Eastwood, didn't he? Man yeah, must know his limitations. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty Harry, my man. Yeah, all right. All right. He wants to hit it full without a double kiss. Oh, look at that. He caught it underneath. No. Nah. That is that is so cruel. That's cold. so cruel. That is, uh, two That's, double kisses. Uh, and look where he had been down there. He had him safe. And then that one game where he kicked the two-railer and then kicked the ball in and scratched the dog. No, He's had some tough rolls. He has. I'll tell you, I, I, I will agree with that. He has had some tough rolls. Yeah, if he doesn't scratch, it's going to turn out okay. Yeah. Instead, I mean, you get filler ball in hand with just a handful of balls on the table. All three of these balls might go in the same pocket. I think he would like to get a little better position there, but no, it's fine. Again, a bad roll for the man from Chinese Taipei. <clears throat> Eight five. Well, you know it's going to be tough. You're, you're in the semifinals and you're up against a top quality player, and, and things go wrong. You know, but you still have a chance. You, 
you can't get down on what's happened here. No, you still have to play. Yeah, I mean that was just uh, that was such a huge game, though. Oh boy, that was just a monstrous game. And then you know you, you pick up a <laughs> there's your eight eighty nine, but the, you get a foul. Oh, what a gruesome foul that was, right? I mean, two uh, two kisses to scratch. Yeah, I mean, you know. All right, Chang. Break and run out here. Keep it exciting. Well, I'd almost have to think this game is a must. Wouldn't you? Well, they're all must. Well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, but yeah, I mean, yeah. If he gets, if he loses this one, boy, it's really uphill. Yeah. Something six here. Six. No. Nope. Yeah. They they look like they're tracking. And on a nine foot table, I think those four wheelers go in almost every time when they hit them good like this. And here they just it looks like it's on. Then they always rims the pocket. She get it this thin. This go behind the two. I don't know. I guess so. No, we played it out. It's pretty special. That was. It takes a good hit to do it like that. Well, after that last kick, he's probably thinking, oh, I don't want to kick this. What's going to happen now? <laughs> yeah. You know. Can't be thinking like that. And plus, he has to do something with his cue ball. He has to manipulate it. Watch the little curve on it once it hits the rail. He's got to put it inside. Probably a little, yeah, inside and low. There's the little curve. I mean, he's hitting a perfect, you know. Where the cue ball, they get separation. All right. Glad that didn't go in. I'll tell you what. Joshua's in a tough spot here. He's in a real tough spot. Well, he figures to go low and warp it in there to make it a bigger target, but it's certainly missable. Oh, what a good hit. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Between the four and the nine into the impossible scratch. But yeah. <laughs> Jang says, now you know how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, that, was just, that was so tough. He made a heck of a shot. He too, did. Because he caught it on the it, he's laughing. side and everything. <laughs> Josh is laughing down there. Like, You've got to be kidding. Well, the four ball, the four ball. I don't even see a pocket for it, to be honest no, with you. So he's going to try to get over there and shoot the three in the side and try to bust them up. And it's not easy to safely break them out where you're for sure going to shot. And yeah, I, don't I don't know if you got yeah. an angle, do you? No. It doesn't look like it. He may have to play uh, a position shot here for a pre-planned safety. Yeah. I don't know if he can play offense from here. Yeah, I think that's exactly what he's looking at, Mark. Just roll up and play safe and maybe try to get the cue ball down behind the seven ball or something, huh? Yeah? He has a plan for this. Can he just bank it and stop the cue ball there? And, uh, you know, four goes... Up by the 10 and then back off the road? Yeah, maybe. Maybe you can bank it and just trickle yeah, the head it. a little bit. That's you know, it. That's not what he's stop doing. it, but trickle it. Might even, maybe make, he's just might gonna even roll. make it. No, might even try think, to make it. No, I don't think he's going to. Okay, he could do your shot yeah, where okay. he just stuck it. There you go. Good job. I couldn't tell. He was so close to the uh, forward the 8. That's right. All right, here we go. Josh is not playing the shot. He's going to warp drive, try to he spike He's trying it in. to make that all the way. There wasn't any kind of. Well, it pays to hit him, as you yeah, can see. Yeah, sure does. Oh, look at that. Oh, now again, it goes between the, the nine and that small little window to lead him straight in.
or he just wants to make this and draw it down and make sure it don't get over top of the six ball with his position for the five. Really, it's going to be the only difficult shot, I believe, in this rack because he has to draw it out a couple of feet. Really good. A few years ago, Aloysius Shep went to play Chang, stayed, they played 21 sets, $100 a set. Chang won 20 of them over the course of a week. But uh, Yap says he went away with so much more knowledge and understanding of what high performance. Mm -hmm. There's Ooh, nothing wrong with that. I know I used to uh, play better players than me because I felt like that was the only way I could get better. Yeah. I know Corey Dougal, he used to play Efren regularly at every before every tournament. They played for, you know, a decent amount when Corey was a kid. And uh -huh. It was kind of like a tuition price. Well, that was a pretty good run out right there. He's not out yet, but uh, I would have to bet dollars to donuts. Is he going all the way back now? Just a little ways back. And like you said, that was a big game there for the winner. They're behind 9-5 versus 8-6. Uh-huh. Big game. Steve Lewis in attendance. Steve Lewis, I remember him when Even I was a kid. He used to come to Northern California. And yeah. I'm talking about, you know, 40, close to 45, maybe 50. No, not quite 50, no. Maybe 45 years ago. I first encountered him here. He was in the U.S. Navy. He was a Navy champion. We played at Q Master. During the U.S. Open one time, I remember that. She's a good player. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't no champion or nothing, but, you know, he, he was a good player. It took a good player to beat him, you know what I'm yeah. saying? All right. Okay, let's see what Filler's got. He, he was ranged in on the one ball on the side. Last time he didn't even come close. He yeah, scratched, didn't he? Yeah. So he did. The one ball didn't come close Look that time this. either. Look is at he the leave a shot? He is leaving a shot. Two balls near the side. That's handy. Two to the three. There's going to be some work with that. Yeah, he just needs to make sure and get on the other side of the table where the spot's at. That way he can float it down one way or another. He'll hit it fairly hard and roll it. There it comes. And watch the spin. Needs to go. Okay, I think he's hit it pretty good. Yeah, yeah he's very comfortable with it. I don't know. I'm not sure he wants to really punch it underneath that 80. He might. No, no. I think he's going to draw it. Well, no, I shouldn't say that because yeah. it looks like he has enough pocket there. He can float with a little left spin. But get by there. Bad but he's going to happen if you touch balls. That's the only oh, thing. Oh, gruesome. Yeah, he's going to measure it up and play it. To, uh, I'm going with his shot selection, whatever that is. So he, uh, oh, he did yep. go down that yeah. way. <laughs> okay. Felt there was enough room. It's 
just wants to maintain the angle here. Oh. Well, I guess he can still shoot it short side. I think I would have rather shot the five right where his hand is than in the other corner. Because when you go this way, the six is there. Mm-hmm. You know, so you always have to worry about a, something. Don't want to get straight in, that's for sure. Very good. Uh -huh. Very good. Both players well over 900 pool now. Looks like he kept his angle so he can use low English and draw it off the side cushion. My wife always says this, if you don't like this, there must be something wrong with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that, I guess that would be true. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't be at the pool tournament if you're yeah. not enjoying this performance. Exactly. Yeah, it's the extension out, it looked like. He wants to give it a pretty good drawback. He's getting it far enough, I think so. He'd like to have been another six inches, I'll tell you that much, though. No. Now he's going to have to shoot the seven in and bring the cue ball back where he's at now, but he's going to have to hit it a lot harder than he really wanted to because he's not quite straight in, but fairly close to it. There's the eight. I don't know about the spin. Okay, give it, look how hard he hit it. Look how short he came up on that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, yeah, I knew he had to really warp that to get over there. He might have hit the fuller side of the pocket than he anticipated, too. But nevertheless, he's out of line. Well, do you just go ahead and run it down the rail, Mark? Yeah. I mean, as straight as you sh this guy shoots, I, uh, you know. It's missable. We know that. But this is where he's got. And, and playing safe, are you sure to ever get in this good of a shot again? Maybe not. You have this now. If he makes it the cue ball and go three rails, come back and get pretty close to straight in on the night. It's missable, but also you can recover with this shot. Oh, I think he'll make it. I wouldn't want to be shooting it. Oh, what a nice hit. Get oh, in no. there, get in there. No. no. Yeah. Oh, doggone. That was really going to make this a great match. You know when you cut that ball down there at soft speed, if it touches the rail, it's like the rail grabs it and throws it out. If it goes in there with a little more pace, it doesn't come away from the rail yeah. as much. You know what I mean? If it's just a little firmer. And he really undercut it, though, a, a lot more than I thought he would. You know what I'm saying? Now, this isn't the greatest Whoa. of shots here either. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he would have drew that ball out. Yeah. You, know? It, you know? That's why I'm sitting in this chair. But... Uh, you know, as as the match gets closer and tighter, as you get towards the finish line, you know what I mean. Every shot is is there's so much pressure on it. You know. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's too bad. That's too bad. He missed that uh, eight ball. He was he was running out and and, and had good position on the uh, everything until he. Just come up a little funny on his draw shot to get position. Yeah, it might have hit the pocket a little bit heavy because this speed's usually not that far off. So, And then, you know, to take it on, I, I still feel that way. It is missable, but are you ever going to get another shot that good in this rack? You, yeah. Playing safe, you're not assured of it. Well, especially with only three balls on the table. It, it's yep. been hard to, to really, you know what I mean? Yep. Put a good. Uh, oh yeah, there's not there. a lockdown safety. If there's a lockdown safety, I'm not for shooting it. But there's, and he's not out of it yet. No, but I will tell you what, uh, that's uh, 
I used to. I mean, he has to win four games. I used to play with a guy. He'd look at me like this and go, "I've seen sicker dogs get well." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yes, yeah. that's, this is not the side of the score you want to be on. It's just the side of the score you are on. Yeah. And some of it is uh, self-inflicting, and he knows that. It's just all part of it. Whoever makes the least mistakes usually wins a long race in a tournament. Nothing. Well, he got him pretty good, too. Well, he's going back to the chair, and he's thinking, well, this is what I deserve. I missed the eight. Now I break. I don't make nothing. My opponent's straight in. If he runs out, he wins the match. So... Yeah, not that he's going to run out, but uh, when he's at the table, he usually does. Yeah, <laughs> you know, he so. can he can make something happen from nowhere. Yeah, he's going to have to do something with this too, though. Yeah, he's going to go one or two rails. <laughs> oh, if he if Perfect. he feathers that five ball there, yeah, problem. But the way it is, doable. It's all good now, isn't it? Wow. He was ready to shoot before the ball almost oh, yeah. got in the pocket, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. You can kind of sense the finish line out there. Look at that. Another, not that great of a shot there. The seven looks like it sneaks by the eight. Uh, you know, I really, from my angle, I can't tell, but I can tell by where he's going to shoot it. I, I think he's going to, well, now that he's pointing, I know he's not going to try to pass the eight. Three rows, two rows, one, two. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that cue mm -hmm. ball control. Take a little more time. This is the last game to get to go into the finals. Good shot. Hit the right angle here, so you can just roll ahead. This is match ball. Wow, that's pretty impressive. So what's that TPA? Can you read it? 957. 957. Yes. And, that's high quality. And Shane Van Boney just shot a 978, and they're both in the finals. What a match we're going to have. Yeah. Up. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Well, a couple of misfortunes for Chang. He really didn't play hideously bad. Uh, but, uh, too much filler. Too many long consecutive uh, shots there. Correct. All right, well, that's our time for this time. We look forward to seeing everybody here in the finals. Kim and I will be back. So long for just a while.